The Yongnuo YN24EX. The Godox MF12. Both brilliant twin macro flashes, but both have a serious flaw. And I absolutely hate it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Hello, my name's Stuart Wood and welcome to this video. If this is your first time here, then click the like button, click the subscribe and leave me a comment. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix a flaw that comes with the Yongnuo YN24EX and the new Godox MF12. And that is this. You're out photographing, you wanna get some unique lighting, yet you can't do it because this is constantly sliding all over the place. You see there? So if I want the light like that, yeah, ain't gonna work. You have to hold the front like that, which is okay if you hand help, but what if you want a tripod and you wanna put it on a tripod and you want the light like that? That's what happens. So I'm gonna show you quickly and cheaply how to fix this. So we're gonna take the rig off and what you wanna do is take the adapter off here. And the issue here is the fact that there's no friction on these adapters. And if the manufacturers are watching Godox or Yongnuo, just put in some sort of friction on these rings or on your head here to stop them twisting. But this is how you can do it. We're gonna get ourselves this miracle tape. It's called masking tape. You can get it from art and craft shops. You can get it from DIY shops. And I'm just gonna cut off a very small strip. Okay. And we only need a very small strip. Now you can go overboard if you want to on this. That's completely up to you. For this demonstration, I'm just going to do one simple strip and we're going to place that onto the adapter. Okay, just like that. We're going to fold it over. Okay, making sure it goes all the way down. There we go. I'm going to cut off the excess. There we go. Okay, let's place that back onto our camera now. Making sure that's on tight. I'm going to refit the Godox. Okay, and just to demonstrate this, we're going to stick our flashes to an awkward position and then we can hold it up. You can see there how, because we've added friction to the adapter, that flash head does not twist around anymore. And typical use case for this, where I found um, it twisting, is I like to have my flash heads a little bit up like that. But I also sometimes want to go into portrait mode. So if I want to go to portrait mode, I can go like that. But the flash heads just stay there. Or if I want portrait mode, but I want the flash heads at an angle, they stay there now. And I can just concentrate on my focusing. If I want to focus with the lens, or if I'm focusing in and out, they're not bouncing around and sliding all over the place. So there you go. A nice quick video for you today, showing you how to fix the flaw that comes with both of these systems that your heads twist around all the time. Add a little bit of tape and it will fix it. There probably are other solutions to it. This one's a nice, basic, cost-effective solution. What solutions do you have for your flash heads twisting around? Let me know in the comments below, but that's where I shall leave it. My name's Stuart Wood. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video and I will see you on the next one. The, uh, the, the, the. <laughs> in this video, we're going to fix a flaw that comes with both the Yongnuo YN Thank you for watching this video now. Fuck, see? I can get all the way through the video perfectly fine until I come to do the outro and I just mess up. I need a teleprompter. That's all I need. I need a teleprompter right there so I can just read it out. I bet you are still screwed up. So there you go. Just add some...